Hi, in this video we're going to take a little look at my process when coming up with a mural design. Now, I'm also going to include a tutorial on how to do a neon effect, so if you just came for that feel free to skip ahead, I'll put chapter markers in the description. Now these are my methods, they're how I do things, uh, they can be changed, they can be adapted, but hopefully they'll inspire you enough to pick up a paintbrush and get painting yourself. Okay, let's go. So I'm going to try and show you the whole process from inspiration all the way to painting the wall. The wall itself is going to be my practice wall behind me. I've got a few videos out with uh, various different paintings, so check those out. But for now, let's get into this. In my last video, I had a lot of fun creating a neon effect just using regular paint and a couple of different size brushes. My initial plan was to take what I learned on that mural and do another breaking down the process into a short tutorial type video. While I was thinking about a design that I could possibly do for the tutorial video, I felt like I wanted to step it up a bit and do something a little bit more challenging, incorporating that neon effect but into a larger mural with some other elements. So now I had to think about what I wanted to do, what I wanted to paint in my mural. I'd recently seen the film Only God Forgives by Nicholas Winding Refn. I have a very special relationship with my son. He's a very dangerous boy. The film is full of scenes where the neon light just washes the set and characters with this amazing colour. So incorporating that into my design is a must. I'm thinking of having neon in the background and maybe in the foreground have a portrait of the protagonist. Layering my design in such a way could provide some really nice contrast and it gives me a chance to have some fun with some splashes of colour in the light and shade parts. So now I have my idea, it's time to develop that into a workable mural design. Now I started by looking for some reference material online, looked at some characters, some stills from the film, and I also found this awesome neon dragon head. Um, so I think I've got my neon elements sorted. Now it's time to get sketching. So I've got my final composition sketched out. I'm gonna go ahead and scan this in and work on it digitally. Now I know some people like to just use pens and paper, some people like to only use digital. I like to use a bit of both. So I've printed off my final design framework now. It might look a bit odd right now, but it'll all make sense once we start transferring onto the wall. So let's go check out the space. To make my neon effect, I'm using a dark shade in my chosen colour, a light shade in my chosen colour, a white paint, a bunch of brushes, something to draw with and something to measure with. And because I've got two colours in my design, I'm adding more brushes and more paint. Now we have our materials, now it's time to transfer the design onto the wall. Now there are a few different ways of doing this, but in this tutorial I'm going to do a process called squaring up. I know from previous paintings that my wall is 2 meters by 2 meters, so 200 centimeters squared. So I've done my design 20 centimeters squared, so that's a tenth of the scale. Begin by marking a simple grid on the wall to guide you when you transfer your design. Once the wall is marked up, I'm going to copy my design onto the surface using the grid as a guide. The first coat, which is the darker shade, is to give the impression of light being diffused. Now I'm using a brush to apply mine, but that's more of a style choice. I've seen it done really effectively with a sponge or a can of spray paint. After that, it's time for the lighter shade. Now this is the bulb itself, so remember, don't make your design too complicated and round off the ends almost like a balloon. We've done our base coat and we've got at least a couple of layers of the lighter shade and that's to really make it pop. The final stage is going to be a white paint and that's going to really give the impression of a neon light bulb. And here it is, 
is the neon element of my mural. I'm really happy with the results. I think it's super effective. Uh, for the rest of the mural, I'm gonna speed through, so I'll catch you at the end. I've just finished and I'm really happy with the result. I think the neon element came out really, really well. If you like this video, please help me out by liking, subscribing, do the usual stuff, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.